Yo what's up guys, I was checking out my channel performance and going through your comments. The views wasn't great but the comments super interesting. One comment caught my eye, this bro wants me to build a mini tank that fires PVs. And you know what, that sounds like an awesome challenge so let's give it a shot. I opened up Fusion 360 and started designing. This video will be divided into two parts. In this part, I'll be building only the gun unit and in the next part, I'll complete the entire build. Honestly, I have never built anything like this before, so this one gonna be tricky. After playing around with a few ideas, here's the design I came up with. Not sure if it will work, let's print it and see what's happened. Alright guys, all the parts turn out great. I started by building the mechanism first, if it works smoothly, I'll move on to the automatic version. The assembly is super simple, first insert this part in the middle and make sure it slides nicely and smoothly. If it feels bit tight you can use some sandpaper to fix that. Next grab a rubber band and tie it up like this. Looks good, seems it'll work. Now here's the magazine where we'll load the BBs. It snaps right into place on the top using a custom snap fit mechanism. Pretty cool right? Well I don't have actual BBs so I'm using these metal balls instead. They are used in bicycles I guess. I picked them up from a hardware store and they are 4mm in diameter. Now let's load them and see what happens. At first I thought it was working fine but not quite. Sometime it fires 2 bullets instead of 1. Now it's not even firing, it's leaking actually. When I tilt the nozzle downwards, the bullets keep dropping without even pulling the trigger. Clearly we got a problem, but I think I might have a fix. If I add a magnet right under this part, where the bullets load into the nozzle, it should help. So I fired up Fusion 360 again, made the design changes and started printing the updated part. This time it should work, otherwise I have to rethink the whole idea. The print turns out pretty nice, now I'm installing this magnet in its place using some super glue. And there we go. Let's swap out this part from the original build and complete it. It's looking great and I have a good feeling about this, let's check it out. As you can see it's working much better, it's firing 1 bullets per shot, the bullets aren't falling anymore and now we have this nice reload sound too. I'm pretty happy with it, now we have to make this thing automatic. But before that, I wanna give a shout out to LTM365 for sponsoring this video. The ultimate cloud based platform for PCB designing collaboration. With real time team collaboration you can seamlessly share, review and edit your PCB designs from anywhere in the world. Whether you're working solo or with the team, LTM365 ensures your designs stay synced and accessible. And for student, check out LTM Student Lab, get free access to LTM Designer and LTM365 with your university email, collaborate with your friends, earn industry recognized certificates and boost your career. Click the link in the description to get started. Coming back to the video, I have already designed the parts. It might be not the perfect design but once we finalize the tank design, it will take the shape. Yes, this is the third time we are printing in this video but I promise this is the last one. Alright, here are all the parts. Since we are making it automatic, we also need an N20 gear motor. Everything is set so let's quickly assemble it. Alright guys, there we have it, the project is complete. I have to say it's looking pretty cool, now let's power it up and see how it performs. I'm using my variable power supply which also allows us to adjust the motor speed and firing rate.
Now let's load the bullets and see what happens. It's performing well but I'm still not completely satisfied. I feel like it should fire the bullets with bit more power. I'll work on making it even more powerful in the final version along with the tank. That should take about 3 to 4 weeks so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more exciting builds. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one until then. Bye bye.